Well, we're going to turn now to the real-life plot twist for Da Vinci Code author Dan Brown that reads just like his best-selling thrillers. Brown's private divorce going public with shocking details. His ex-wife accusing him of leading a double life. Kaylee Hartung has the details. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, Eva. Yeah, the details of this lawsuit read like fiction. From Europe to the Caribbean and to the former couple's home in New Hampshire, this master storyteller allegedly wove a complicated web of lies, courting mistresses, stealing money, and deceiving his partner of 30 years. Now Blythe Brown says she's standing up for herself. <gasps> He's penned imaginative tales of intrigue and deceit. Magdalene was Jesus' wife. But this morning, Dan Brown, the best-selling author and blockbuster hitmaker of The Da Vinci Code, is being accused of the kind of secrecy and fraud he writes about in his stories. His ex-wife, Blythe Brown, suing her husband of 21 years in a lawsuit filed Monday, claiming Brown was living a secret double life, accusing the author of removing substantial funds from their hard-earned marital assets to conduct sordid extramarital affairs with women one half his age, including buying a prize-winning stallion horse worth $345,000 for one of them. If she could show that the, per the money used to purchase the horse came from their joint funds, she might be able to show that she was entitled to all or some of those funds. The suit also claiming the 56-year-old man misrepresented the couple's wealth in a sworn financial affidavit in their divorce agreement and hid multiple future projects worth millions from Blythe, including a TV series based on writing she says the couple created together and a children's book due out in September. In a statement to ABC News, Blythe says, this lawsuit is about standing up for myself. We work so hard together, struggling to build something. After so much pain, it is time for truth. But Brown adamantly denies all allegations, calling them fictional and vindictive, telling ABC News any suggestion that I was not completely honest in financial disclosures during our divorce is wrong, adding his ex-wife received more than half of the couple's assets. The fact that he was having relationships with other people during the marriage is not something that he can be penalized for as part of the divorce. If he really didn't say, oh, these are things that are going to be generating income for me, then that could be a problem for him. So Dan Brown dedicated the Da Vinci Code to Blythe, writing that she was without a doubt the most astonishingly talented woman I have ever known. Well, now Blythe is trying to use those talents to get to the bottom of this mystery, and she's demanding a trial by jury, guys. Wow, stranger than fiction. What a story. Thank you, Kaylee. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.